Now, before we get started with this video, I want to share an exciting opportunity with you all. Rise is coming up with a new free bootcamp on Solana. So if you don't know what Solana is, it is a blockchain platform and the deadline to register has now been increased to 3rd October. Now it may extend or may not extend, but I'd highly recommend you to sign up right now for which you can find the links in the description below. You'll get to learn how to build blockchain technologies on you know, the Solana platform and also a chance to win 1000 US dollars as prizes. So pretty exciting stuff and lots to learn to network with people, showcase your knowledge and get live hands-on experience as well. So check out the links in the description below and register today because the last date is tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a new video. In this video, I'm answering a most asked question. People say, Kunal, you did Google Summer of Code in your first year of college. Did it help in your career? How did it help? And uh, is it like a ride or die thing, meaning it is mandatory if you want to make it big, uh, being from a not so good university or college? And uh, how did you approach it? And how did it help your career? What to do if you get in? What to do if you not get in? So let's talk about it. I did Google Summer of Code in my first year. That was in 2019. Now 2023 is going on. So a lot of things have changed. So one thing I want to say is that if you don't know what Google Summer of Code is, you, you probably do. People ask me, first of all, they ask me, Kunal, how did you come to know about Google Summer of Code? Okay, you're in university. You have so many opportunities you don't know about. The question beginners have is like, how do you know about this opportunity? I knew about Google Summer of Code because it is one of the most popular programs in India not just Google Summer of Code. I think Indian students dominate whatever opportunity they are given in the field. If there is no physical restriction, like let's say you have to fly or the money part or something like that, Indians will dominate. And that's the example, you know, Google Summer of Code, like more than 50% of students are from India. And uh, so many hackathon companies are there, uh, like MLH is there, for example. Join any MLH hackathon, doesn't matter the time zone, US time zone, India time zone, dominated by Indian students. I was an MLH coach, I know what I'm talking about. Organize any meetup, any conference, anything in India, dominated by Indian students, if the price is, if you let them in. Um, now recently, LFX mentorship, dominated by Indian students. CNC have just uh, released a blog, like the mentees who just graduated, dominated by Indian students. I think it's nice that, you know, folks from India show so much interest. But uh, I run my own student, like a, a community of learners, we make devs. And I've tried so hard to find communities outside India to get involved, get active. More people, more foreigners watch my YouTube channel, which now they do because I'm focusing more on the professional side of things. But it's very hard. CS50 is doing it really well. CS50 audience, a well, lot of Indian people watch it, I know, but still they have a good mix. But anyway, uh, one thing you have to realize is such opportunities when they come, you will know about it. And because in India, people eat it like, you know, oh, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. So <clears throat> that's a that's a nice thing, like so much awareness we have in our country. But uh, <clears throat> that's to answer the question, how do you know about these opportunities? You will, because you live in India. If you don't, then I just say subscribe to mailing list or subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, network with people, be active on social media, so on and so forth. Okay, to answer the question, how much does GSOC help in career? Um, before 2019, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, that everyone who did Google Summer of Code used to get a referral from Google. I don't think that's, that's not the case anymore. And they stopped doing it when I did Google Summer of Code. In 2019, they stopped giving out Google referrals. So you should not do it for Google referrals anymore. If you feel like you do Google Summer of Code, you will get a Google interview, interview referral. No. It does look good on your resume, okay? And some of the things it provides is like, okay, you get to work on open source. So what are the benefits? Let's talk about the benefits. It looks good on the resume, contribute to large scale open source projects, network with amazing people, mentors, learn new skills, get pull requests merged, so on and so forth, right? And you get the money part. So you get a stipend. And uh, I think the networking opportunities Specifically, if you want to network with other Google Summer of Code students, I think for Indian students, this is a downside. Now hear me out. It may look like a little controversial thing. When you network in the Google Summer of Code, so when you get into Google Summer of Code, they add you in like a channel or something. And most people there are from India. And uh, the downside is that most of these people are very egoistic and with a competitive mindset. 
they're not trying to help you they're just in for the money competition and just get it on the resume so that they can work at a big tech company like fang or whatever i've been google some account multiple times once as a student three times as a mentor with google code in as well google some of code as well so i know that the networking opportunities in google some of code not very good because most people are with a competitive mindset which is not what open source is all about so all these things that i mentioned that google some of code offers maybe things have changed now i don't know but all these things that google some of code offers only one thing is which you may not directly get from regular open source contributions which is the money and that's fine it's okay you will get money later on when you get a job so what to do to be quite frank apart from the stipend you are not missing out on anything so there are if you don't get into google some of code lot of other programs are out there i made a video on this already 20 plus open source programs you can apply to and i'd say the best thing you can do is contribute to open source is open source irrespective of whether you get into these programs or not doesn't matter if you get into open source just contribute to open source irrespectively but then you can still apply to these programs and you'll be like oh they contribute to open source uh, already so open source spirit you can select them or whatever i'll make another video on how i approach google some of code but that's what i would recommend today starting today contribute to open source don't worry about these programs or anything just contribute in your free time so to sum up does it help in your career google summer of code just like any other opportunity yes it helps but it's not mandatory if you don't get into google summer of code then all the benefits that google summer of code provides all the ways in which google summer of code helps that you can do without google summer of code also so to sum up start contributing to open source today and do apply for google summer of code if you get in amazing if you don't get in don't worry you will be already getting all the benefits that this program provides if you have any questions leave me those in the comment section below also make sure to check out the links to the resources in the description below of the amazing boot camps that i have shared and you can sign up today because the last date is coming very soon i'll see you in the next one have a great day